Hi guys, welcome back to CS Technology. So last class guys, we have discussed about uh, a login authentication guys completely. How to hide the password by using uh, Bcrypt library guys. We have done verify as well guys, like user verified and password also verified. So today guys, we are going to learn uh, JWT guys. Okay, so JSON web token guys, how to use that so for that guys first we'll uh, comment this all or else you can create a new folder here jwt js you can close this you can open the terminal guys so guys uh, first guys we need to import the express js guys okay how to import that so you can just take require require here you can type express guys so guys, I have imported Express guys. Okay, so here we will take Express, so that it will run here guys. Which equal to and to convert in the JSON format guys, we need to take use Express dot JSON. So guys, this is a basic setup for uh, Express guys. We have done that and now we'll create a server a local port you can take 8000 anything guys you can take that console.log server has connected so guys, basically guys what do you mean by jwt guys okay so jwt is like a json web token guys so it will be uh, stored guys so like uh, uh, it will be like how i can say uh, so in case guys if you are logging in facebook guys okay or uh, we will be uh, commenting with someone guys, they will be commenting us right so if you log in guys uh, next one year or so we can able to see that guys so whatever we have commented to our friend on our comment our friend has commented to us so we can able to see it there right so how guys so the data will be stored over there guys okay so once you logged in guys in facebook there is a token will be created for that guys next time guys if you are using same credential like same name and username and password so the by using that token guys it will fetch the detail guys okay so practically we are going to see that today so we will create guys for that so endpoint you can take here user you can take anything guys here request response console dot log so how to get the user data guys so we need to request dot body see guys so this is a basic thing guys we know that also guys quickly say first we need to import uh, jwt guys how to import that you can type npm install json web token guys see guys json web token npm install so that's it guys just press this it will be installed guys within 20 seconds okay so once it get installed guys so we need to import here express variable name you can give anything require json so that's it as i have imported now guys we will run the node mode node mode and file name is jwtube.js always guys after node mode we need to write our file name okay if you have only one folder that's fine if you have multiple folder you need to write a folder name so now guys server has been connected guys we'll open that client tool see guys here we can we are able to we can type local host user here guys you can take post method here now guys you can log in by using username username might be anything you can type anything john Sorry. password you can write anything guys John want to play something like this guys okay just restart that see guys we have received John 
token so that that's it guys now you can just response not send and you can take key token see guys so we have user data guys we have stored in the user so that if you are writing anything guys so it will stored here and this value will be stored in the user guys so user we have passed here guys okay so that's it guys now we'll get our token we'll see that see guys we got our first token guys it's a simple right guys so how to use that guys token guys okay in next endpoint so you can create one more endpoint for that guys in the app dot get you can tap get again guys request and the response then console Stop. token generated you can write anything here is a token generator see guys now guys what we need to do we need to copy this token guys we need to put it in header guys okay in header guys especially we have a authorization authorization guys okay authorization where there we need to put here guys okay? see the authorization here we need to give and the value guys we always give barrier after that paste it guys just remove this guys see guys so that's all about this is the basic setup guys we need to do we need to author click on author header guys authorization in authorization guys in value field we need to give our token guys now how to get that token guys here so for that guys again we need to store the value you can take let here you can write anything guys i will be writing get is equal to request dot headers guys so guys, only if you write headers guys so what we get we'll see console dot log get up get header spelling is correct right headers okay as so, you guys if you send it you can tap get here and also you can remove this post method give get method and send a request here guys see guys we got user agent this one and we got authorization we got host name local host user and connection close all the things we got here guys okay so if, if you want to get only this token guys so for that we need to use authorization here guys you can dot in this authorization guys can press monitor this one also guys you can use some response here got the token something like this okay so that it will be not rounding guys here so now we given authorization right see guys now only we will get this token guys okay we will see that see guys we got our token if you want to got get only token guys if you want to remove this barrier also so you can split that guys okay we have a split method for that 
dot guys split here guys you can give column in that case you can give one guys if you give zero guys we'll get only barrier okay if we need to give one guys see that i have given one right so now we'll get only that token guys and then send the token here okay just a minute guys running oh, now we'll see that see guys you got our token guys got the token right this is a simple guys how to store our uh, token guys and how, how we, we are going to get that guys so we have a middleware as well guys here so we can use middleware by using middleware guys only if you have a token you will be allowing in that particular website guys if you don't have token so it will not allow guys if you use middleware so that we can do like that as well okay so this is simple guys just we have uh, discussed about JWT how to store the uh, token and how to get that case here guys we have generated our token here we have got our token guys so that's it guys so kindly practice this class so that you will be understanding more if you are watching this class for first time guys so definitely you will be not understanding kindly practice so definitely you come to me that guys okay so that's all guys today class thanks for watching